Inflation has been hitting everyone hard, especially senior citizens. Everything is so high. You know, you can hardly eat. And for many of the tens of millions who receive Social Security, their monthly payment isn't cutting it these days. In fact, a survey from the Senior Citizens League shows 50% of Americans aged 55 and older have spent half of their emergency savings. People are carrying more debt on their credit cards, and there has been a huge jump in the number of people reporting they have signed up for SNAP food stamps or visited a food pantry in the past year. But experts say some relief could be on the way. The Social Security Administration adjusts payments each year based on data from the Consumer Price Index. Typically, we see an adjustment between 1 to 3 percent. Last year, that number soared to 5.9 percent, and this time it could reach 8.7 percent based on the data. We won't know until the administration officially announces on Thursday. But if experts are right, it would be the biggest jump since 1981, adding an extra one $146 per month to the average payment. The move will be welcome news not only to seniors, but some 4 million children who also receive benefits. However, the future of Social Security is uncertain. A report earlier this year suggested it could become insolvent by 2035. Now, a big part of understanding why Social Security could become insolvent is changing demographics in the U.S. So Social Security is a program that is funded almost entirely by payroll tax. But American families are having fewer kids, which ultimately over time means fewer workers in the labor force to tax in order to pay for Social Security. Americans are also living longer, which of course is a good thing, but sort of adds to the challenge there, which is why during every midterms election and every presidential election from now until 2034, when Social Security could become insolvent, you're going to hear Democrats and Republicans go back and forth about the future of Social Security, especially because baby boomers, which are the main recipients of the program right now, make up a very big part of the electorate. And this is, you know, people's livelihoods that we're talking about. Man, it's kind of like whack-a-mole. Every time you think you find a solution, something else pops up and you got to go through the motions again. All right, economics correspondent Bianca Shini reporting. Thanks, Bianca.